Okay, so my name is Rosa Friesen. I almost forgot. <laughs> my name is Rosa Friesen. I'm the founder of the Fit Republic team. I started coaching about three and a half years ago. I was working 50 to 60 hours a week um, in corporate when I started and just really kind of got sick of the corporate grind. I was just about to have my third baby when I made the decision to jump in and uh, was able to retire my corporate position nine months into coaching. And last month, I actually retired my husband from his uh, job as a police officer as well. So at the age of 32, that was pretty interesting <laughs> for the police service. Um, but we are just so excited for this new chapter in our lives and really so excited to pay forward what this opportunity has done for us and our lives. Okay, so let's get right into it. Um, the Fit Republic team is a conglomeration <laughs> of um, all the coaches that you see on this call, and we have a lot of varying goals on our team, right? So my goal was to replace not only my corporate income, but also my husband's police income, but we have lots of coaches on our team uh, for whom their goal is to pay for like a vacation a year. I'm not sure if my grammar was okay there. If we have any teachers on the call, just ignore me, you know? Um, We've got coaches on the team who want to earn like a part-time sort of income. My girl Karina became a coach about, what is it, two and a half, two years ago? Three years. Shut your face. Already? Um, anyway, so her goal was to replace a part-time income when she started. She'd lost 25 pounds in her first challenge group and just became such a believer in what we do. She went on to lose a total of 55 pounds. Pounds. Yeah, she did. And she kept it off. And so her first goal was to just grow sort of a part time income. Her goal has grown <laughs> as her skill set has grown and her income has also grown. So, um, whatever your goal is in terms of coaching, in terms of this business, it can be your own, you know, and we're happy to have you here regardless of what that is. Um, we, I'm going to be doing a rapid fire Q and a, so this is like, we're going to move quickly. And I've asked my girls to not be super long winded so that this is like the maximum amount of fun for you guys. Um, so before we get into the questions, I'm just going to give you like a quick minute on what we do as coaches. So you understand a little bit before we get into the Q and a, um, my first task as a brand new coach was to learn to share my journey on social media. I had 30 pounds to lose when I started as a coach because I just had my baby. Um, before I was pregnant with that baby, I had tried a lot of different like quick fix diets because all I wanted was just to be skinny. You know, that was my goal. Health was not the goal necessarily. I just wanted to be skinny. That's it. And so starting my journey, I had a lot to learn both in terms of fitness and in terms of coaching. When I realized that sharing my journey on social media was more of a come with me sort of thing than a come look at me sort of thing, it got a lot easier for me because like I said, I had 30 pounds to lose. So I didn't feel like I was in a position to be like, oh, hey, I'll help you get a six pack tomorrow, you know? Um, and so that was number one. Number two, I put together my very first fitness challenge where I invited people to join me on my fitness journey, to join me doing what I was doing and to hold each other accountable and support each other through our transformation. So I have run a monthly fitness challenge all three and a half years of my coaching journey every single month. That is one of our vital behaviors. We help at least three new people get fit every single month. Doing that, we know we're doing our job as a coach, and we also knew we also know we're growing our business and our income every single month as well. Okay, we are getting into the Q and A. Here we go. Okay, first question, and this comes from a lot of questions that we get from people who are considering coaching and joining our team. So, number one, how do we find people to connect with online? Karina, go girl. Okay. Hi, I'm Karina. Um, yeah. How do we find people to connect with online? The truth of the matter is all you have to do is be you. 
um, the sooner that you realize that you are unique and amazing and awesome and build that belief in yourself, um, even if you don't believe it, put it out there because I promise you you are, that's what you attract. You put yourself out there, you join groups um, that interest you because it's more fun to connect with people that you're like than people you aren't like. Um, you put out the vibe of kind of your <laughs> who you are. Sorry, is that me? I'm sorry. <laughs> you just put out there, um, I call it living out loud. That's what we do. We live out loud. And it can be scary because you're like, oh, nobody cares about that. Nobody wants to know I took my kids to the park today. But guess what? They do. Because they want to know that they're not the only mom out there um, who loses their mind sometimes or the only busy mama who's working all day and barely gets time to get home. That sort of thing. Um, I did a post the other day. I'm just going to put this out there. Of It was like a Barbie doll and it's like other moms. And then it was a tyr Tyrannosaurus Rex. Like this mom. And that's me that day. And do you know how many moms related to that? Nobody's a perfect mom. We all feel like we're failing all the time. So um, that's just me being me and connecting with people like me. Um, you share about your journey. You share that you're on a journey. And you make it known to people that you could help them on theirs. That's really all there is to it. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to have Karina answer like the first three questions because she has to leave because she has a, what is it? Dance recital for your baby? What, what she's, was she, she's graduating from Awana. She's got to oh. go get an award. It's very okay. exciting. <laughs> so she has to go do mommy things. Um, okay. I love this question. What if I don't have the confidence to share my story online? Go ahead, Karina. I will be the first to say that confidence has never been something I would attribute myself as having. Um, I have always been super paranoid about what everybody is thinking about me. I have always been very insecure. Um, I was bullied like crazy in high school and it sucked. Um, I, that was never me. But you know what? There's this beautiful thing we do as coaches that's called personal development and you don't have to think that you have to look in a mirror and be like I'm good enough I'm smart enough people like me it's not that it's literally um, expanding your mind to recognize just what I said before that you are a beautiful person inside and out and that there is something about you that others want to connect with so if you don't feel confident yet don't worry I didn't either I knew I was a complete dork in every video and picture I posted and I owned that I'm like whatever I am a dork this is me um, so the con Confidence comes if it's not something you have naturally. I promise you, me today versus me two and a half years ago, completely different person. And that comes with what we do. Okay, so I'm not supposed to like add anything to anybody's answers, but I have to with like I have to this time. Um, and I promise I'll be really short. Um, like the thing is, people sometimes are like, oh, well, I can't do what you do because. It seems like you just know what to say when you post and you know, you're fit now and all of that stuff. Like I am, I am such a different person than I was the day that I started coaching. I'll tell you guys, I had a massive chip on my shoulder. I was skeptical of people in general in corporate. Like my nickname was the bulldog in my office because all I cared about was results, results, results. I will bulldoze all the people to get to my particular goal. Um, and like, I, I hate, I hate that that was me, but it was, you know, and then I move into like this people oriented business and everybody's being so nice to me. And I was like, what do you want from me? Why are you being nice to me? You know? Um, but the thing is we are all in this together. We are all working toward a common purpose. And oh my gosh, it's true. Women can be nice to each other. Um, <laughs> and we've got that on our team. We've got a focus of personal development and growing as people. I will say though, we've got a bunch of dude bosses on our team now, and I'm so super excited to be seeing more testosterone happen on our team. I think it's, I think it's phenomenal. Okay. I promise I won't do that again. Um, third question. Actually, you kind of already you kind of already answered it, Karina. How we use social media to grow our business? Yeah, basically, Correct. yeah. Like I'll, I'll just sort of because that seems so broad to say live out loud. So okay, the truth is there's a lot of different venues. You can use Facebook, you can use Instagram, you can use Pinterest, you can use YouTube, whatever 
or twi Twitter. I was going to say Twitter. That's how often I use it. Um, <laughs> there are so many social media streams available to you guys that it's never been easier to connect with other people in a way that's comfortable for you. So at first, two and a half years ago, I was. I was posting recipes. I was posting motivational quotes. It wasn't what uh, my persona is now online, but that, like I say, comes with time. So we give you examples of of what to post. We give you examples of how to share. You're not on your own with that. We're giving you clear tools to follow to rock this business right from the get-go. Yes, awesome. Okay, thank you so much, see? Okay, next is, <laughs> I think we're kind of repeating a little bit. Bear with us, guys. This is our first time doing this. Lindsay, what do we post about? Can you get specific? Like, what did you post about when you were a brand new coach? Okay, so when I was a brand new pup coach, I literally, I posted a sweaty selfie. I, I used it to hold myself accountable on my fitness journey. So every day I'd post a picture of me getting my workout done. Um, I'd share what I was eating. So because you're living the lifestyle and doing your workouts and stuff, sharing that, be it comes natural. So share what you eat, share a healthy recipe because people will, people love that kind of stuff. Um, your workouts, motivational quotes. Um, we do motivational Monday and share about your family because people want to see that you're a real person and they want to relate to you that way. And that's how you'll attract people to you. Um, yeah, I know Karina kind of, kind of, uh, talked about it already, but yeah, I literally just share what I do in a day. I share me and that's what people are attracted to because there's somebody out there like you. And oh my, share my struggles too. the days that like today, I didn't want to get a workout in, but I got my workout in and I shared it. I had an overtired baby and people relate to that. I was going to say, and I'm totally going to break my own rule again, but we're like, sometimes people become coaches and they become like beach body bots, you know, like they post just beach body all the time, all the time. That's not what we do. The primary value that we offer is not beach body. It's not. It's us as relatable, real people showing that if we can do it, that they can do it too. Um, okay, Kate, what is your favorite part about being a coach? Go. Go. Um, okay, so at the very beginning when I started coaching, my very favorite part was reconnecting with um, friends that I had from the past that was the people that I reached out to first um, so it, it was really exciting to to get to know those people again friends from high school that I hadn't talked to and we're at that age right now where we have a lot of things in common so it was like getting to know them at a, at a different time in your life you know with your babies and we talked about getting older and how crazy it was and so you already feel comfortable with those people and that was really exciting for me to and easy, like an easy transition into like coaching and feeling comfortable. Um, something else I love is um, that has been a gradual thing, but ju I just adore our team, you know, being part of a bigger team. I'm such a team person. I prefer being with people more than just by myself. And so that the whole idea of a team really appealed to me. And I love our team and I love getting to know um, everybody and there's everyone's so different and it's so much fun. And then the last thing, um, you know, once you get going coaching is the results that your, your challengers have. That's the best thing for me right now is, you know, the messages, the private messages that people send to you and say, thank you so much. This has changed my life. Um, or just seeing results from your challengers, you know, losing weight or losing inches and how exciting it is. So that's my favorite part. Thank you, Kate. Um, okay, what is the hardest part of being a coach? I'm just going to preface this real quick because each of us are going to, like you have to understand, each of us are going to have different answers, but I'm trying, like we want to give you sort of a cross section of the leaders of our team, right? So like favorite parts and hardest parts might vary, but I think anybody that you hear from is going to give you a good answer. Go ahead, Whitney. Hold on, hold on. I got it. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Whitney. Um, I started coaching in August and I would say the hardest part for me is that I am also a night shift nurse. So I 
am awake all night and I sleep all day and I'm kind of have opposite hours of the rest of the world. So like I worked last night, I got home at nine this morning, um, slept a few hours and got up and started working for, um, you know, my coach business. But so the hardest part for me is really finding a good time to be able to connect with people, but it's just something that I have to make um, a priority and set specific times throughout the day that I'm going to do that. Um, but the other, besides being time oriented, the other uh, hardest part for me is just um, being okay with people not wanting to join you and not recognizing the potential that you see in them because you know that they would be so good at it and it would be so beneficial for them and it's something that they would really enjoy because it's something that help, that has helped you so much or you know that's how I feel when I'm talking to people like this is such a good thing like why don't you want to do it with me but so you can be okay with that. So that's the hardest part for me. Awesome. Thank you, Whitney. Um, okay. What do you have to know before you start coaching? Like, what do you have to know? Lindsay? Oh, my gosh. All you need to know is that you want to work on your health and fitness journey. Literally, you can start from there. I signed up as a coach um, at the same time, I got a challenge pack, which we'll talk about later. I had no idea about anything, and I just started sharing my journey on Facebook. Um, we have training that you can take at your own pace, but honestly, in this business, you're always going to be learning, and you're not going to know everything when you start. And we have team groups on Facebook that like, you can ask a question, and you have an answer in a minute. You're never alone. So all you need to know is that you want to commit to yourself to work on your own journey. That's literally all you need to know in the beginning. And then you can hop in the training that we do on Facebook and we help you every step of the way. There's yes. no, there's no secret sauce when you get started that you need to know a ton of things. Awesome. Yes, exactly. You really don't need to know anything <laughs> except that you want to get fit. Right? Um, okay, Katie, um, I ha I'm gonna ask you the next question. Um, oh wait, I lost my place. Hold on one second, sorry. Okay, can introverted people be coaches? Oh, yes, um, absolutely. I was actually just talking to a girl today Day about coaching and she was like I don't know like I really want to do it because I want to work on myself and I, 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 I want to do this for myself and to be able to do it with other people she's like but I'm not really going um, and that's the best part about this so much of what we're doing is done in social media so you really and truly get to be yourself and live out loud like Karina said on social media and as time goes with the training and the personal development you will seriously see yourself change for the better. There's no doubt about it. And what's really cool, we had our diamond retreat uh, down in California in January. And to bring all of us together, we all are similar in very many ways, but we're all very different in a lot of ways too. Um, you know, and Karina, like that was the first time I met Karina in person. And I pictured like by just seeing Karina's posts and chatting with her like on our calls, like she seems outgoing. And then when I meet her in person, she's like, no, I was never like this. Like, I am an introvert. Like, I, and it's like, what? Like, that is so cool. So absolutely, like, and people will say, like, you're so outgoing and stuff. It's like, but, you know, you're running your own business all on social media. So you can really make it the way you want to. It's easier to do it that way, you know, opposed to standing up on stage and speaking in front of a bunch of people. So absolutely, introverts can definitely be, um, can do this. Okay, I'm going to give like a specific example and I think she might be here. So hopefully she doesn't mind. Um, okay, so my sister-in-law, Leanne, um, she like I've been married for, I got married when I was a baby. I was 18 and I'm 31 now. I can't remember how many years that is. It's a bunch of years. Um, 
So anyway, I've known Leanne for this long and like, I just love this girl. She's got five kids. She does a home daycare and every time she posts pictures about her life on Facebook, I want to live at her house. Like it just looks like so much freaking fun to live at her house. And I feel like she, like she is such a relatable person. She's an introvert. She's not necessarily shy. She's just an introvert, but I feel like like she's such a relatable person and the thing is you get to be a keyboard warrior you don't have to like speak in public in front of thousands of people you're you're actually connecting one on one with people right you're having one on one conversations with people so yes introverts make amazing coaches and i have two friends who are introverts who were top 10 coaches in beach body so that does not hold you back um okay kate do we have to sell each body stuff on our uh, on our Facebook pages and like do we have to sell on our posts? No. Say more words. <laughs> <laughs> no, you won't. Um, and actually that's really, you know, the opposite of what we want to do. And Karina actually said everything that I was going to say, but um, about what you would post about instead, just because that's not what you're posting about. You know, once people see your journey and see your progress and see, you know, it's more about what are you up to instead of, you know, putting it in their face. You know, there's a lot of different, um, different things that people sell. And when you look at their Facebook, it's like, you know, $99 for this or, you know, whatever for that. And, that's really not what we want to do. I mean, we're not about selling something. We're about changing people's lives. And so, you know, you want to share your journey and share the journey of the people that, you know, your challengers, um, and then invite people to come, you know, whether you're messaging them or your call to action, which, you know, that's a part of coaching too, but you know, you don't want to sell and turn people off because it's not about selling a product. It's about, your journey and changing people's lives. So no, we're not selling. Yes. Some, okay. I uh, confession. When I was a brand new coach, I was still in that very like selfish sort of mindset. Right. And I took like the same sort of approach to this that I had in my corporate career. It made me successful in my corporate career, but it did not work in this business where it is truly about helping people and people can feel it when they're talking to you. If, if you're in it for you or if you genuinely care about them, they feel that. And I actually posted a picture of a challenge pack one time, Beachbody like product, fitness products. And I was basically like, this is on sale. You should buy it. And it was terrible and horrible. And I could not believe it when I saw, when I saw that pop up on my, like my Facebook memories thing. Um, that is not what we do. And we actually teach that on day two of the training to never, ever do that. We always put people first, always. Um, okay. How do we earn an income? I'm going to answer this baby. So we have multiple revenue streams as Beachbody coaches. The first revenue that any new coach makes is in retail. So when we have people join our fitness challenges, we earn 25% on whatever they purchase. Now hear me when I say this. Pause for effect. The beachbody.com website and the infomercials, the products cost exactly the same amount of money as when they buy these same products from a coach. It costs exactly the same, but they're getting the value of a coach when they order through a coach and they're getting the support of a coach when they order through a coach. So like I said, they, the Beachbody like infomercial side of the business and website side of the business, they have a ton of customers as well, right? And it costs exactly the same as when they buy through a coach, but we earn a 25% commission when they do order through a coach and join one of our fitness challenges. So the goal for every new coach is to cover the cost of a challenge pack for yourself in your first month as a coach. We'll talk a little bit about that as an option. Um, 
in a little bit in the next question. So that's the first revenue stream is your retail income that comes from people joining your fitness challenges. The second revenue stream is called team volume bonus. So I'm going to actually share my income with you guys. In my first month as a coach, I earned $500 and it was just in retail income. Okay. So you guys have to understand that is rare. It's more common for a coach to earn about $150 in their first month. But because for me, I was like balls to the wall as soon, pardon the expression, as soon as I started as a coach because I needed to replace a percentage of my corporate income in order to be able to stay at home with my babies. And so I worked very hard when I started coaching. So I earned $500 in retail commission. Um, what most people earn is closer to 150 in their first month. So last week, for example, um, and again, I've been doing this for three and a half years and it's been my full-time job for three and a half years. Ooh, I feel a little uncomfortable now talking about like my exact income. I'm going to do it. Um, okay. So I earned around $5,500 last week. And 150 of that, like 156 of that, was retail income from people joining fitness challenges, etc. The rest of it was team volume bonus. And what happens is when people join our team, if they are successful, only if they are successful and they are earning a paycheck, that contributes to our team volume bonus. What most people don't understand about team volume bonus is that you also, like when you sign up on our team, because your coach is consistently growing their business as well, you benefit from volume from your coach as well. So it's not a one-way street. It's not like you earn a commission and then your coach earns team volume bonus. You also benefit from volume as your coach is growing their business consistently month over month. So that's number two is team volume bonus. Number three, it's called a fast start plus bonus. So this is one that I'm sure half the coaches on my team aren't even aware of. <laughs> when you have five coaches who join your team with a challenge pack in a, I think it's in a one week period, you earn an extra hundred dollar fast start plus bonus. So that's just a little extra, um, on top of the commission that you would be making. Um, and then as you rank advance and as you, um, and as you're developing your team, I'm not going to get into too many technical details because you're not going to know what I'm talking about anyway, but as a two star diamond coach, you start to participate in the bonus pool. So maybe this is good education for my coaches as well. Beachbody sets aside a full 2% of the company's profits each quarter. And so they have four separate bonus pools for their leaders. So as a two-star diamond coach, you participate in that first bonus pool and you earn a quarterly bonus. As a five-star diamond coach, you participate in both the first and the second bonus pool. As a 10-star diamond coach, you participate in three of those bonus pools. And as a 15-star diamond coach, you participate in all four. So those leadership bonuses come later. Um, and I'm going to guess probably an average of two years or so into your business if you're serious and consistent about growing your business. Um, one more. Oh, yeah. There's, there is something called matching bonus. So when your coaches begin to earn a team volume bonus, you also earn an additional 10% of whatever their team volume bonus was. And this is Beachbody's way of incentivizing sponsor coaches to support their teams. We literally, like, we've got skin in the game. We want our coaches to be successful. Besides us actually being friends and genuinely liking each other, which we actually do, um, we have we have skin in the game in terms of making sure that our coaches have the tools that they need to be successful. And this matching bonus is just another added bonus um, that encourages sponsor coaches to help their teams be successful. So. I talked for a really long time and I'm sorry, but I hope that that made a little bit of sense for you guys. Um, okay, Whitney, how do you get started? Like, how do you become a coach on our team? 
So to get started, you just have to sign up uh, with the challenge pack, which is your workouts and your Shakeology. You want the Shakeology because that's like the foundation of um, Beachbody. You, have, you know, it's something that every coach should um, believe in, and it's really awesome too, and I love it. So you sign up with a challenge pack, and that also waives your coach fee. So it's a, essentially free for you to sign up as a coach. Or if you are a previous challenger and you've already bought a challenge pack, then you can sign, um, you can fill out a form and get your fee reimbursed. So it's super simple. It's just online. You submit it and it's done. So am I missing anything? Nope. That is it. Um, I did want to add though, because somebody asked if there was like a like if there were ongoing fees or something like that. So I wanted to address that as well. With your coach account, you get a 25% discount on all of your own fitness products, um, which has saved me a lot of money over the years. <laughs> and uh, there is a coach website maintenance fee. So this is $15 per month US or $18 per month Canadian. No, I'm sorry. It's eight. Fifteen ninety five. I forgot the the pennies or eighteen ninety five per month Canadian. This is your website maintenance fee. Beachbody gives you um, your websites where people can purchase their Shakeology or their challenge packs. Um, so you've got a Shakeology website. You've got your uh, Beachbody Coach website, and you also have customer service for your clients. They have a customer service department. So that's what the business services fee takes care of. And again, you also get a 25% discount on all of your products. Um, okay, Lindsay, how do you cover the cost of your own challenge pack in your first month as a coach? Okay, so um, essentially if you help three people along on their fitness journey, with a challenge pack, you cover the cost of your own challenge pack. Um, so when I signed up, I had my sister, it's gonna be your friends, your close friends and your family. So I had my sister that I helped and I had two of my close friends and that covered the cost of my challenge pack. And with my close friends, I told them um, what I was doing. I said I could earn um, an income and I get a discount on products and they actually signed up as a coach with me and they kind of went on the coaching journey alongside of me and they're still with me on my team. So that's something always to consider too. It's fun when you get to do it with somebody else that's really close with you. Um, so yeah, just you help three people along on their journey. And the nice thing too is if you start this coaching journey, even if you help your three people and all of a sudden you're like, okay, hey, this isn't for me. There's no contract or anything like that either. So um, don't feel like you're locked in and you're scared that you're never going to get out. You can stop and you get a refund too. Um, yeah. So you help three people and you cover your cost of starting up. And those three people are going to be close to you. Yes. My sister was one of my very first um, people who joined with me as well. And my mom and my mother-in-law. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, what if, what if I think Shakeology is stupid? Um, so before I actually started as a coach, um, I actually had a relationship with my mentor, um, because we had done Slim and Six together. Slim and Six, like the first rendition of Slim and Six, if you can find it on like eBay or something like the old, old one, it's the most terrible workout program ever. Like I hated every second of it, but I lost 14 pounds in six weeks. So I was like, okay, like I'll continue with this. Um, oh, one second. Yes, baby. Yep. Come on. So um, anyway, when Shakeology came out, my mentor asked me if I wanted to join a challenge group with Shakeology. And I was like, I eat my food. No, thank you. I am not a shake person. Um, meanwhile, I was taking probiotics, superfoods formula, multivitamins, come here, and a like a natural um, whey protein for post-workout as well. And then I just figured, you know what? 
I'll try it and see because I need Shakeology to be part of the challenge, so I'll try it, but I fully expect that I'm going to return it. I even planned on returning it, if I'm honest, um, because I just wanted to get it into the challenge group, and then I figured I would just get my money back, and it took me three weeks, but when I noticed the difference with Shakeology, I really noticed the difference with Shakeology. I don't sleep. Like, I'm not a sleeper. It takes, like, like I'm like one, two in the morning before I can sleep. And I think it's because I have ADD and like my brain won't stop, you know? So I noticed a huge change in my energy as well as craving control for chips and chocolate. So it was worth it to me. And I became a believer. Um, if you, oh, also the name Shakeology, I still feel like that's just super lame. I wish they'd change it. But anyway, <laughs> my best advice to you, if you are considering becoming a coach on the Fit Republic team and you're not sure about Shakeology is to try it for 30 days. And even if you fully expect to return it after the 30 days, you're more than welcome to do that. We are still friends if that happens. Um, but my best advice is to give it a fair shake. Ha! <laughs> okay. Uh, two more questions and we are all done. Lindsay, what kind of support? Actually, you know what? I'm going to go to Katie because she didn't put her name down on the worksheet, but I'm just going to put her in there anyway. Um, what kind of support does the team offer? Katie, are you still with us? She's not sitting there right now. Oh, did she leave her chair? Go ahead, Lindsay. <laughs> okay. Honestly, I have never been a part of such an amazing community. I had no idea when I got started. Um, my, my mentor told me about our team and I thought, yeah, that's great. And I still expected kind of for me to just start this and be in the unknown. But honestly, we have a community of people that are all on the same journey and we are, there's so much positivity and we're all helping other people. And we all help each other too. Like I, I get goosebumps. Like when I talk about our team, because your upline and like your mentor is there to support you and they share everything that's made you made them successful and they share that with you. So you're never alone on this journey. And if you follow what they, what they say, that's what I did when I signed up, I'm like, okay, well, Rosa and Ali, my mentor are telling, are doing this and they're successful. I'm like, I'm going to do that. And if you do that and you follow everything, the tools are there for you to build a successful business. And if you have a question and your upline coach isn't available, we have private Facebook groups. You post in there, you'll have an answer in a minute. Like there are so many people there that are willing to help you and the tools and everything there are amazing. And I, get, I haven't even met these girls yet. I get to meet them in Nashville soon. So it's, it's honestly, the team and support is amazing. We totally missed you at the Diamond Retreat, Lindsay, but super excited to meet you in July. <laughs> it's weird, though, because it seems like like I already know this girl, and it's like I forgot that we actually hadn't met in person yet. Um, okay, last question, and then we are done. Um, when is the best time to start? Yesterday. Just kidding. Um, I'm going to tell you specifically why now is a really good time. I am so super passionate about this. Um, we are expanding. Right now, Beachbody Coaching is available in Canada and the United States. So we still have an enormous market of people, the millions and millions of people that are overweight and obese, not to mention the people that aren't and just need to make fitness a bigger part of their lives in North America, right? So we already have an enormous market in North America. However, we are expanding globally and we're laying the groundwork right now for expansion in the US, Beachbody On Demand, or sorry, you. UK. Um, Beachbody On Demand is already available in the UK. Also, trainer certifications like Insanity, P90X, Pio, etc. All of that is available in the UK as well. And you guys, I was a founding coach in Canada. I signed up the day that it opened up in Canada, and I am on the Canadian Market Council. I know what it is to open up in a new market. My goal for our team this year is firstly, we're going to be a top 10 team this year. Like you just watch, we are going to be a top 10 team this year, right? 
But the reason for that, the reason that's such a huge deal for me is because I want my team, my coaches to have a foundation for their business before we open up in the UK so that we are in a position where we can help more people in the UK when that market opens up. This is a huge, massive opportunity, you guys. And with like the miracle of social media, our world is more connected than it's ever been. And Whitney, oh hey, maybe like people across the pond will be awake when you're awake and you can talk to them. <laughs> Um, so that's it, you guys. Um, this year we are really, really excited to help as many women and, and dudes as possible to grow a business from home and whatever your goals are, whether they're little tiny goals or big, enormous goals, we're here to support that. And I'm really, really excited to welcome you members to the Fit Republic team over the next couple of weeks. Thanks for tuning in, you guys. Good night.